Cydex OPA solution can be used in many healthcare settings in a wide variety of applications. During the disinfection process, it's recommended that personnel wear proper protective equipment when processing any medical device. Please consult your facility guidelines or reference universal precaution procedures. Contact with Cydex OPA solution may stain skin or clothing. If the solution contacts skin, wash with soap and water for a few minutes. The stain should disappear within one to two days. The solution may also stain environmental surfaces such as countertops, walls and floors. Once personal protective equipment has been donned, you're ready to begin the disinfection process. High-level disinfection is a process that requires specific steps to assure efficacy. The first critical step in this process is to thoroughly clean the device to remove organic matter. Because the disinfectant must be in contact with the surface of the instrument in order to perform, instrument surfaces that are covered with organic material cannot achieve high-level disinfection. Proper cleaning is the most critical step to help ensure that high-level disinfection can take place. This can also reduce the organic bio-burden by as much as 99.9%, allowing for quicker organism kill. Enzymatic detergents, such as Enzol and Cytozyme enzymatic detergent, are often recommended for cleaning because they effectively dissolve protein and reduce the challenge to the manual cleaning process. This reduces the likelihood of healthcare worker exposure to contaminated equipment. Following cleaning, it's important to thoroughly rinse equipment with large amounts of fresh water. This will remove residual detergent on the instrument surfaces prior to disinfecting. Remove excess moisture left on instruments prior to disinfection. This will help to prevent excess water from diluting the solution, which can reduce the effective concentration of the product. Once the instruments are clean, you're ready to begin using Cydex OPA solution. Before using the solution, be sure to read the instructions for use and the bottle label. The shelf life of an unopened bottle of Cydex OPA solution is two years. The solution requires no activation. After opening the bottle, pour the required amount of Cydex OPA solution into a Cydex solution tray or appropriate container. If there is still solution left in the bottle, reseal the bottle. The remaining solution in the bottle can be stored up to 75 days. For quality assurance purposes, it's important to record the date the solution was poured from the original container and when it expires, which cannot exceed 14 days. Cydex OPA solution should never be reused beyond the manufacturer's suggested reuse date. Immerse clean, dry instruments in the Cydex OPA solution. Ensure all instruments are completely submersed in Cydex OPA solution and, if applicable, fill all lumens. Cover the tray with a secure lid. Soak for just 12 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius to achieve high-level disinfection. Following disinfection, rinse instruments thoroughly, flushing the channels with potable or sterile water three times. Each rinse should be a minimum of one minute in duration, and it's recommended that a volume of fresh water be used for each rinse. Now it's time to dry the instruments. Once dry, the instruments are again ready for use. The quality assurance measure as a component of the disinfection process is to test Cydex OPA solution using the Cydex OPA solution test strips. This will indicate if the minimum effective concentration is present. Dip the indicating pad of the strip into the solution for one second and remove. Read the results at 90 seconds. The pad will be completely purple to indicate minimum effective concentration is present. If any blue appears on the pad apart from the top line, the solution is below the MEC and should be discarded immediately. Cydex OPA solution can be disposed of as ordinary waste down drains with running water. It's readily oxidized and biologically converted to harmless carbon dioxide and water. Refer to your state and local regulations for more information. Always follow OSHA Bloodborne Pathogens universal precautions when handling and cleaning soil devices. It's recommended that all liquid chemical germicides be used in a large, well-ventilated area. 
Be sure to keep the lids on the disinfecting trays at all times, except when transferring instruments in or out of the solution. Be careful to avoid splashes and spills. Clean up immediately if one should occur. Immediately dispose of any solution-soiled rags or towels by rinsing with water and disposing in a closed plastic bag. If a small spill should occur, follow these procedures to ensure your safety. Begin by collecting all necessary safety and cleanup equipment. Safety glasses, latex or nitro gloves, a mop and bucket, sponges and towels, a plastic bag and the chemical glycine free base. For small spills less than one gallon, sprinkle 25 grams of glycine free base onto the spill. With a mop, sponge or towel, blend the glycine into the spill of Cydex OPA solution for at least five minutes to neutralize. Collect the neutralized liquid with a mop, sponge or towel and then flush it down the drain with fresh water. For larger spills, use 25 grams of glycine per gallon spilled. The use of Cydex OPA solution in automated endoscope reprocessors must be part of a validated reprocessing procedure. The Cydex family of products has been used with a high degree of confidence and safety for over 35 years. So in prowling for a rapid, high-level disinfectant you can trust, there's only one solution. Cydex OPA solution. Advanced Sterilization Products is proud to be your partner for instrument processing today and tomorrow.